Hi everyone, my name's Nina. Welcome back to Enchanted Yarns. If you're new here, thank you for popping on and following me. I know I don't have a lot of followers yet and I'm just a new knitting YouTuber. So please subscribe. I would love it if you did. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And you and I you can follow me over on Instagram as well and I'll pop my link in the in the comment box below the show notes, whatever it's called. <laughs> I'll pop it in there. Okay. So hi. So I am today going to show you what I've been knitting. That's it. So this is just going to be a knitting, crochet, sewing podcast. Um, I'm going to be showing you some of the di the dyes that I yarned. I'm a dyer as well. So I'm just a new dyer. I'm not a new knitter. Um, I'm not a new crocheter, but I'm a new dyer. And I absolutely love it. I found my thing, guys. I found my thing. Anyway, let me get showing you because I want to try and keep this not too long. <laughs> Every time I say the other word, it ends up being a... a an extremely long video and I might even stick this up unedited we will see anyway I'm going to quickly show you what I've been making and what I've recently finished so finished objects finished objects that's it right so my love note look at it. I've just folded it imagine that look I've got a big line down the middle but look at my love note sweater I oh my gosh this is the first time that I've knitted this and it will not be the last time I already plan on making myself another one and making my daughter one for Christmas. I'm totally in love with this. It's like, oh my gosh. It's just, do you know, one of these patterns where it looks as if it's kind of complicated. It's a neck down. It's absolutely not. I would say if you were a kind of newish beginner, but not a complete beginner, but even a completely beginner, if you had someone helping you, along just guiding you you would be able to knit this and it knits up so quickly I knitted not as a crop top as everybody knows but I knitted it a wee bit longer because I'm tall and I gave myself some long sleeves and I kept it baggy so obviously it was a wee bit shorter but it blocked out fab so it kind of just comes to here and I love it it's exactly the way that I wanted it to be this is knitted in my hand yarn no my hand dyed yarn. So this colourway is called Wise Crone. Everything about my colourways and everything about my whole life is full of enchantment and magic. So, you know, the yarn has to be called that as well. So this is a Wise Crone, obviously, because it's that colour. Um, i done this with um, holding one strand of my um, Merino 4-ply, 100% Merino, and my Kid Mo here. So the two strands together, and that's what I knitted this on. Um, and I used my, I think it's like four and a half and six millimeter um, chai goo circlers. They're here actually. Um, six millimeter and <laughs> six millimeter and four millimeter. Yes, I was right. Here we go. <laughs> so my chai goo, these are fabulous. Honestly, totally recommend them. I love knit prosing as well. So. Oh, it's hard. I don't know. I can't. I can't compare them. I love them both. But anyway, so this is my love note sweater. I've got a maroon yarn. It's in drops. It's not one of my own yarns. It's drops. Um, that I got. So that will go on the needles. I want to just plan and getting it on the needles and then just kind of leaving it and picking it up now and again. At least even get the yoke bit done. So here, look at that. I am absolutely amazing with this. This is so soft. It doesn't itch my skin. If, you're, if you've got any kind of sensitivities, just put a t-shirt on under it. I mean, I, I generally have a t-shirt or a vest top or something under underneath this. Now, I'm wearing black jeans. I am wearing black jeans that have now got grey hairs all over it. Oh, that was silly. Never wear anything more hair <laughs> with your jeans, with black. Never do it. <laughs> so that's my love note. Oh my gosh, I am so much in love with this. That's This pattern's by, for anyone who does not know, Tin Can Knits, and you can find them over in Ravelry. Just put in love note sweater. That's all you need to put in at Google, and it will pop up. Right, the other finished object I did share on my Instagram, but I haven't shared it on a video because I never made a video for such a long time. I did start off wanting to go, but then I was so busy doing all the dyeing stuff that I thought, right, I'm just going to, can I leave it just now until I'm, I'm good to go? Because I was doing so much of one thing, I wasn't really knitting. But anyway, 
So this is my, this is my Seascape jumper sweater um, from Bis Biscotti Yarns. Oh my gosh, I'm so bad at this. <laughs> Biscotti Yarns. Um, it wasn't there. Um, it was I used um, Panache. I think it was James Bray and Stylecraft Dreamcatcher. So this Dreamcatcher yarn, that um, this is all just the one ball. It's fabulous. So this is more acrylic than it is wool, but there is wool in it as well. So this is super easy. So again, this was another crop top, but I just made it a slight bit longer, but I left the sleeves three quarters this time. But I'm loving the huge cuff on it. I love it. This was super, super, super easy. And this was the first time I've ever done a top-down jumper. Um, and it was fabulous. And I love it. And I haven't had it on for ages, but I have worn it a few times. It's that season. I'm in the west coast of Scotland. It's getting there. The autumn, you can smell it in the air. Um, right, what else have I been doing? Right, so that's all. I've, I've done other finished projects. Like, I've done socks. I've got them on. <laughs> So I've done quite a few pairs of socks. These ones, I'll show you again. So this is um, Berger de France Gumi 50, right? So they're, usually, they're just 50 gram balls, so that was what I knitted there from. But I've, I've knitted my husband's socks, I've knitted my daughter's socks. Um, I kind of just like knit them up really quickly. I like to have a pair of socks on the go, and I've got a pair of socks on the go. I haven't done, I've knitted one, um, so wait to show you the one that I've knitted. So this, um, this is a wee pattern um, that's called Vanilla Shortbread by Christy Horton. Right, I'm not going to, I'll, wait to, I'll just show you the, the picture. I'm not organised at all guys, sorry. But I just don't want to show the pattern. But anyway, this, this is the picture. So they're just wee shorty socks, right, wee shorty socks. And, um, and that's them there. So this yarn is by Ringer Rosie. Yarns. I don't know what I've done with the ball band. I do apologise. I usually keep everything as well. No, it's, so it's Ring of Rosy Yarns, and I've, um, I follow her on Instagram. Um, she does have a shop. She's in, from Whitley Bay. Um, so this is her yarn, and this was. Oh gosh. Like on the waltzers or something like that. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> on the waltzers. Oh, gosh. Um, go on to my Instagram. I've shared the, I've shared the yarn. Um, so this is a wee shorty socks. They're just a heel flap and gussets, basically. Knitting the cuff and then straight into your heel flap. Um, super easy to make. I, I knitted these on my uh, DPNs. And I, do you know, I do enjoy knitting with DPNs, but not, I don't enjoy knitting socks with DPNs. And let me tell you why. I'll show you why. Because you get this seam. You get a seam when you're knitting with DPNs. All my other socks, I knit um, on a circular, a nine inch circular needle. No, a nine inch. I can't remember. Guys, I am so rubbish today. Like, I'm totally rubbish today. Um, that is a nine inch. Good, a nine. So I normally knit it with this, but I thought, oh, do you know what? I'll use my DPNs just for a wee change. Um, so I need to knit the other one on my DPN. So I just use Knit Pro ones. So stitches are all coming off. So this is basically. So this is me started the other one. I haven't touched it for weeks. Um, so see what I mean? When you just knit the cuff and then you start on to the heel flap. Um, and then just start. And then just turn the heel and. pick up in that. They're super easy and super quick but I just get caught up in doing like other things um, that I think I actually started these before they even started the Love Notes sweater. Probably. But how but how fab is the yarn? I love it. And I love this wee pattern because at the front, right, so you've got your, your stocking stitch here but at the front it's slip one, purl one. Right? So it gives it this wee kind of pattern. And I will never knit socks again like that. <laughs> so the front of all my socks from now on will be like that. The toe, I just, um, so it's just a, it's just a normal be cast off here. Um, but the toe, I just done the stocking stitch just to kind of, you know, just make a wee difference there. 
So I'll need to remember that for the next leather shock. But I absolutely love it. So these ones are going to my daughter. So you can get the one with the line down it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so that's so bad, isn't it? Um, so these will go to her. She's got. She loves my socks, so she loves getting some new socks. So that's them. That's them. But at ten minutes, see, this is quite good. I'm keeping this quick, right? Now I've got another work in process. Uh, work um, in progress. I'll just get that out of the way. This is in my wee bag that I made. So we these wee bags will be going up on Metsy shop as well. So this is my nice wee ladybird. I love all these kind of things. And you just draw, uh, draw a string. We handle for carrying. And there's a wee tiny pocket in there that just put measuring tape and, um, and things in. So that's my wee bag. Right. My other work in progress is in my other new bag. Now, I made this for my shop, I made this for my shop, but guys, I just took it and it's mine, it's mine, it's mine, it's mine, it's mine. But I'm going to be making more, okay, so I will be making more and I'll put it into the shop. So, what's in the bag, you're asking, and I will show you. Right, I'll lift this out. So, I am knitting Like a Cloud by Jorge, Lo Jorge Locatelli. Sorry, I never ever see the word um, that name properly. This is like a cloud, and I just wanted, do you know that we just a cozy cardigan just to pull on and wrap around and just kind of like that. So here it is. I absolutely love it, and this is just a big long part uh, cardigan, right? Look at the the, the rib here. It's fabulous. Um, just a long cardigan, and it's basically knitted in one. So you knit a part of the back, and then you pick up one sleeve and then the other here, and you knit so much of the sleeve and then you just join it all together and knit straight down fabulous and it's the pattern i was just ready to tell you about the pattern was there no i'm not telling you the pattern is it's super easy super super easy so i'll show you so this is knitted on my yak base yarn undyed so i do have this i haven't put it on the shop i did buy it with the intentions of knitting it but this yarn oh my goodness this is like double knitting it is just, oh, it's amazing. It's so soft. I love the colour and it's just undyed and it's just gorgeous. I love it. So I'm like, nope, I ain't dying it. So wait till I show you. I'll show you. I've got pins everywhere. I don't know what yous are like, but I'm a nightmare. I'll, where I'm sitting now is where I'll sit in it. And I've got my wee basket here with my knitting stuff in it. And um, if I can't be bothered getting up to look for anything, I will just grab whatever's there. So wait till I show you what I've done. So this is the back. Right, so this is the back and then you just stop. So these are the pins, these are my Nip Pro. <laughs> so I left that in there. So then you pick up, <coughs> you pick up the left side. So this is on, okay. You See what I mean? You pick up the left side here, right? And then do the pattern. Once you get to a certain length, you then, oh, well, you pick up, this is, the, this is the side I picked up, right? So you stop once you get to a certain length, so it's basically the same length as the back, right? And then pick up the other side, do the same with that, and then just join it all onto the one pin. It is absolutely fabulous. It is super, super easy. And this is an absolute beginner, an absolute beginner's cardigan. It's honestly, and it's such an enjoyable because it's basically just a six row pattern. Um, and you don't even have to look at the pattern because you know what you've done when you're looking at your stitches and it's amazing. I love it. I love it. So I highly recommend it. And I'll stick my yak base up onto... Etsy. Right, so that's that because um, I've always usually got loads of things on but like I say, I have been knitting um, a wee um, just at kind of socks and things um, and dyeing lots of yarn. Let me just quickly show you a couple of my yarns. Right, so these are the ones I just done over the weekend. These are going to be sock sets. I haven't named these yet so you'll need to wait till they go up to Etsy but it's because only because I have, a, usually I, I know the name before I start dying, so I know exactly how I want it to look. But this one, I know exactly how I wanted it to look. And then I looked at it and thought, I don't know what to call you, so I've got a few names. <laughs> Listen, that's life. It is just life. Anyway, so here we go. 
This is the new colourway. So this is in a sock yarn, sock base. But you don't have to just make socks for them. You know, you can you do these for shawls, you can do them for cardigans, jumpers, love note sweater, whatever. You know, you whatever. Um, so the... I have, I'm going to, I've, I've done three of them, I've only done three of them, um, because that was all I did, it was like Sunday afternoon and I thought I could just make a couple of sets, just to see how they go, like I'm a new dyer, I've got so much in different colours just so that I can show people, so I'm going to sell these in sets, so this will either come like that, so that's all the different colours in that, I absolutely love this. I made three, but there will only be two going on Etsy because I'm keeping one for myself because <laughs> I love it. So I've got it to go, um, a pink mini to go with it or the green mini to go with it. You see? It's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. So although they were all dyed in the same batch, with, an, with hand dyed yarn, it's never going to look the same, right? So, you you know, it just, each, each yarn... Each skin picks up the colours just that wee bit slightly different or depending on where it is. And so that's that with the wee minis. These are the other ones I've done. So this is another sock yarn. And I'm looking at it thinking, oh, do I really want to put these on the shop? Do I not want to just keep this for myself? <laughs> I don't know what to do. So anyway, we'll see. We'll see because I absolutely love it. So... There we go. This is another sock yarn. Now I never really done anything to go with this, but I did. I did. did I have. I have different tastes. I like a lot of darkish colours. So let me show you this anyway. So this is this is another one that I haven't named yet because I knew the colour I wanted. Didn't know the name. So let me show you the three of them, right? Because I only done three of these as well. And um, you'll see how each one has come out a wee bit different. It's quite hard to show you the three at the one time. You see how they've come out just a wee bit different. It's better if I just show you one at a time, isn't it? And then that way you can get to see the colours. Because and it, although it's coming up quite lightish pink, it's more a maroon colour, right? It's more a maroon uh, maroon colour. Um. So and here, so you know, the blue is kind of showing up a tiny wee bit lighter. So the, uh, but it's, it's gorgeous, right? It's gorgeous. This one is my favourite. I really love this one. So I don't know if this one will make the show. <laughs> so this was the minis I made for it. Because I thought oh, I would like something like totally, totally different. But then when you hold it together, it doesn't really go. But it kind of does at the same time. But I know I suppose you can put anything. But no, these really don't go either. I suppose the pink, you know, the pink would. But I have got other, I have got other um, minis that may go with it, actually. Give me a wee second. I've got them just sitting here. So, there we go. That would go with it. Oh, that would go with it. Even that would go with it, because you're really just going to put it on your heels and toes anyway. Um, so, there, that's the new colours. That's the new sock yarn. What I am going to show you, though, because... It's been getting so much love on Instagram that I need to show you in real life so that you can see it. So this is my fairy footprints. And this again, the, I had the name and knew exactly the colour that I wanted it to be. So it's easier when you get the name first. So this is the fairy footprints. Now, it's slightly more greenish blue. I suppose it's not too bad. It's, not, it's just shown up a tiny wee bit lighter. Right, so it's more a wee bit, just slightly darker green than that. So this is the Fairy Footprints. And this is the In The Mohair base. That's the In The Mohair base. So this would make a perfect love note sweater. Just hold a strand each. All you would need is two of these, two of these. And you'll have, you'll have some of that left over. You could even use it for a hat or something. So this would make... A fabulous love note, or just one of each, one of Hokey's shawls, like um, what kind of shawl? Like the hipster shawl. Now that's a free pattern on Ravelry. Hokey Locatelli hipster shawl. You could use that for that. Hold a strand each. You could. The list is endless, endless. This is a hundred percent superwash merino, so it's not good for socks, right? But amazing for jumpers, amazing for amazing for cardigans, for shawls. 
Um, I mean, I, I make big shawls, but I use them as scarves, so I just wrap them around the door, just sit here. Um, oh gosh, right, that is all I'm going to show you for here because, because I'm going to show you a couple of the bags that I've made that's going to be going on to my shop. Now, um, there's another video if you want to go down, it'll say, um, I think it's something like Hi from Enchanted Jarn or something, and, and I show a lot more colours on that, right? So another one of the bags that I've got is this. This is another big bag. So this holds quite a wee bit as well. Now there's no pocket in this one, but let's see how many skeins of yarn. So we'll just, even if you were doing a love note sweater, two of each and plenty of room for your jumper to go in. Plenty of room. Okay, so we've got that bag going on. We've got this super, super, super amazing bag going on. Now there's no pocket with this, but have attached is a wee notions bag, wee purse thing. So this is another big bag. This is huge, so I'll put it all, as you can see, with me holding it. Um, so that's the size inside. Let's see how many balls of yarn we can get in this quite comfortably. It's just so you know, right? So that's two went in. Three. Take these out of here. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Take the guys, I've got ten. <laughs> you're never going to have 10 skeins in it, but I've got 10 skeins in it and there's still room for a few more. So you're going to have plenty of room in that for a big jumper project, a big show project. Um, it's amazing. But the last bag and then that's the video finished. I love Halloween. I love Halloween. I love it. I love it. So of course I had to make a big bag. This, oh my gosh, I, I am like, this bag is not going on. It's not going on. I'm keeping it, you know, but... I'll meet myself for another one. And I'll, I'll maybe make another one and stick it on the shop as well. But however, so this is another huge bag. Okay. That's the, that's the stitching. It's got a handle here. It's got a little witchy hat on the zip pull. Okay. And so, so it's all wee witchy hats, wee witchy hats and moons. And the bottom of it's black. Ops. And inside it's orange with a black pocket. And again, this will hold all the yarn. So let's just get a couple of balls in here. Just two, four. I've seen ball skins. Two, four, six, eight, ten. There we go, and there's plenty of room. And I dare say I could I could get another couple in that one. You're not going to be carrying ten in it, but there you go. Fabulous, isn't it? Absolutely fabulous. So this is going to be going reluctantly. <laughs> I'm only kidding. Um, this is going to be going onto the shop as well. So look out for that. So thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for for just coming and saying hi. I really, really appreciate the support. Being a new yet knit, <laughs> being a new knit YouTuber and a new yarn dyer. I do appreciate all the support. So if you could pop over to my Instagram, so it's Enchanted Yarn Instagram, um, I will link it below. If you could just pop over there and just show me some love, I would really, really appreciate that because I'm going to be posting mainly on there. Um, I don't have a I don't have a Facebook page. Um, I do post on my timeline, but very rarely, very, very rarely ever really on Facebook these days. So I just love Instagram. So Instagram, YouTube, that's where you're going to find me. So thank you for watching. And I'll see you later. And I'm not even going to edit.